Learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to all the dorky diggity goodness on the channel. And if you want to see more, click on that notification button. Now enjoy the video. Welcome back guys, this is Dorky Diggity Dave and today we are talking about the Golden Symbioid and how to beat him just like a ninja. This is a Cyclops clone in terms of specials, packed with the evadeability of the worst of the spiders and crawlers, and is an overall pain in the ass to fight if you don't have one of those snazzy true strike champs. In this tutorial, we're going to assume that you don't, and well, let's get into it. Now, as for the specials, if you have trouble avoiding them, please see my How to Fight Cyclops Like a Ninja video to get your timing down. Other than that, let's talk ways to get around this seemingly unpatterned nuisance. First and foremost, as I spoke about in my video, the problem with stun immune and auto evade, I think champions that can attack and evade at the same time is not a good fight mechanic. I believe once you've committed to an attack, you are in it. You don't get to have both because this produces an outcome where you cannot land a guaranteed attack. To further this point, this puts the attacker, you, at a disadvantage. Because if the defender can cancel a dash to auto evade, this has a chance to perform a sidestep, which puts you into a situation you cannot escape from as intercepts are supposed to reward you with the attack for your superior timing and reflexes. So attacks that would normally guarantee you the hit are now putting you at risk, and that is completely based on RNG, and so skill in that particular situation is put on the back burner. However, there are some things that you can do to help mitigate the damage, and that is where instinctive touch comes in. Rule number one, do not mindlessly mash. This is almost always bad and rarely ends well when dealing with an evade champion. There are four techniques in particular we are going to focus on to defeat this golden mess. Number one, the action point. You can find this in instinctive touch part one. See the card? Very good. This is going to give us our opening. Now, you can attack with light or medium, but there is a very specific way to approach both attacks. So, if you use a medium, do not mash your attacks. Mediums require a longer recovery time than a light does, and if the gold sim evades, he will counter you before your next attack can be executed. However, if you approach without mashing, this leaves you open to properly react to any kind of evasion or counter. Light attacks are fast on startup and quick on recovery, so you can mash this one because if he evades you and counters, you'll already be into the next attack and in a great position to intercept and stop the counter in most cases. Number two. Backdraft intercepting is essential in that we do not go beyond three light attacks and the third light should always be the last in your combo in order to maintain safety and quick recovery. Once you've executed your third light attack, back off and the aggressive nature of this particular symbiote should be more times than not to follow you. Even if it doesn't, a light attack usually keeps you pretty safe. Rinse and repeat until you push the gold sim to a special attack. This is important because you want to be able to use power rotation as another entry point. Number three, sidestepping. This can be found in Instinctive Touch Part Two, and basically is a shallow evade of the first medium dash to be able to interrupt the opponent. This is crucial as you need all the openings you can find. Just keep in mind that each one of these are eligible to be evaded. Okay, number four, banking. Can also be found in Instinctive Touch Part 2. However, it's pretty straightforward. Use the wall to give you an artificial sidestep and is very easy and safe to execute. The same rule applies here though about the three light attacks. This is also important because too many attacks will push you too far away from the wall and make repeating the bank action a little more difficult. 
Now that timer up there on the top is telling you you've got 30 seconds to get the job done, otherwise you are going to lose a large chunk of health, which is most likely going to kill you at that point. Now, this is epic mode, so if you're trying to do it with like a 3 star or a 4 star, you are going to have to go through your roster to get this thing done. Keep that in mind, and moving on. Now, as you can see, if you combine all these techniques together, you should have everything you need to be on your toes to battle this golden symbiote. Now, because of the RNG nature of this champion, your results may vary, and while some of you might not get a one-shot, you will still be able to mitigate the damage you take and increase your chances of success. So my job here is done. This is Dorky Diggity Dave. I hope you enjoyed this how to beat the golden symbiote like a ninja video. And if you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch you on the flip. Learn a little science. Take a lesson. Learn it all.